We're Ashley and Christian, and we started traveling together in March of 2017 and haven't stopped since. After visiting over 30 countries across four continents, we've become hooked on seeing, tasting, and trying new things. Being pushed out of our comfort zones while traveling has inspired us to set a crazy goal of visiting every country in the world. everyone, we are on the road headed to some hot springs just north of Mexico City. We are going to Butas Tilantongas. We are doing a little day trip. We booked it on Airbnb. I'll link it down below. We're traveling in... Oh, there it is. <laughs> We're traveling in the car, not a van. It's about 7.40 right now. And we've stopped on the side of the road to get some breakfast. We got a, what is it called? So evidently this is a kid's video, but it has chicken and mole in it. So we got green mole and it's a mixture of 20 to 30 That's different like spices. Bay. It's basically just meat and sauce, but it's, it's really good. We're getting sanitized, so is our car. I love yeah, that one. That yeah. And over there, if you do it in the well, first little stop once we got into the Tolentongo area is this beautiful view right here. We just arrived at the Tolentongo Hot Springs, got our GoPro out, and we're ready to head on in. Extremely warm. It's 60 or 70 today, so it's not like really hot outside. These waters are, you know, they're geothermal, so they're hot. This is gonna feel really good in like this mildly cool air. Okay, so we're getting ready to go through this little tunnel, kind of like an underground cave with hot water flowing through it. So it should be pretty cool. It is so cold. We just came to that little tunnel right there and it was freezing out yeah. cold water and now we're going across this windy bridge oh okay. it's freezing <laughs> back there past the bridge every time the wind blows it's freezing but we're making our way back to a pool so that we can get in and get warm it feels really good to be in the pool to a higher pool and the higher you go up in the pools the warmer it is so it's a little bit warmer in this one it's not like it's not hot at all it just is very comfortable you can see kind of behind me all the pools down there we were still able to find this pool all by ourselves sorry so, hello <laughs> we were able to find this pool all by ourselves so it's still not like there's plenty of pools over there that's like two people or nobody even though it gets crowded it's not hard to find your own little spot i'm glad we decided to go ahead and do this trip from mexico city we heard mixed reviews on the drive and like 
if it's worth it, but I think it's totally worth it. A little bit interesting of a fact is that all of these pools are man-made. They're made with concrete and the concrete's really soft and colorful from the minerals in the water. The water itself is not man-made. It's not like man-heated. It's heated naturally from one of these mountains around here is a volcano and they don't know which one. So it's geothermally heating it, kind of like the Blue Lagoon in Iceland or pretty much any hot spring in Iceland. We have driven about 10 minutes back up the windy hill and to the other side. And on this side, I think there's the water cave tunnel thing. River. A river. Yeah. So our guy says that he likes this side better, which is crazy because the other side's so cool, but I'm really excited. We're just walking a little bit down this way and then we'll be there. Right behind us here is the river. waterfall area into like a cave tunnel thing. We're getting ready to go into the hottest water. Yeah, this is the hottest. This is directly from the earth. It's and really cold. Right in there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 oh gosh. He said that one's cold. Oh. Oh. That was so cold. It was extremely, it was like a sauna in there. Literally, you couldn't, like it was hard to almost get a deep breath. There's water coming from the ceiling, there's water below you that you're stepping in, there's rocks, mm -hmm. and it's literally a cave. And the only light in there was the lifeguards with flashlights. We'll do up that one, and now we're gonna go into this one. We actually forgot a towel today. I grabbed the sock bag instead of the towel bag. Your body has to adjust. <laughs> I heard him say la comida, so looks like we're gonna go get some food now. We just had a lunch of some delicious Mexican like, meats and veggies and beans and things. And now we have moved on into the river that we saw earlier with like all the different levels mm -hmm. it is. Yeah. So, it feels so good to be back and be warm. You can just see the steam coming off the water behind me. Uh -huh. 